Hello everybody, welcome to LRDA Prep. My name is Samir Sardana, a plus educator on RAN Academy and I am teaching students live on RAN Academy plus for CAT exam. If you wish to attend my live sessions for, to prepare for CAT exam guys, you can enroll for RAN Academy plus subscription using my referral code LRDA Samir. This will give you a discount on the purchase price and you will be able to attend all of my live sessions on RAN Academy plus. In this video, we are going to discuss a multiple pie chart. A very important set uh, in multiple pie chart generally there are more than two or three charts which you are supposed to understand you're supposed to find out how all of these charts are connected with each other so let's quickly have a look uh how se set ko approach karte hain kaise questions ko without equations uh, uh, approach kiya ja sakta hai right how to short uh, how, how to solve the question in short let's have a look at it guys uh, the question let's let's quickly go through the instruction part first guys these are the directions write right? the first paragraph solve the following questions on the basis of the information given below and the informations are there are three family members from dick and harry the pie chart below okay three family members tom dick and harry the pie chart below give the distribution of their incomes on the various heads the last pie chart gives a distribution of the total saving of these three members in the different investment of the scheme. So these are the four graphs that you need to understand guys. And the instruction of the set tell you that the pie chart below gives the distribution of their income on their various on various heads. So this is the distribution of expenses of Tom. That means whatever is the income of Tom, this is how Tom is spending his income. 10% on entertainment these values uh, uh, okay uh, if might not be visible to you so let me write it down separately for all of you so that you can read it properly uh, the question says Tom is spending 10% of entertainment 22% on food 10% on travel 15% on clothing this value is mentioned over here as 15% I guess it is readable uh, a medical 8% saving 35% Okay, so this is a distribution of expenses of Tom and similarly you have the distribution of expenses of Dick here, right? 7% on ent entertainment, 18% on food, right? 23% on travel, 15% on clothing, 12% on medical and 25% on saving and 7% on entertainment. All right. And similarly, you have the distribution of expenses of Harry and this fourth chart is the distribution of total saving. Now the information says the last pie chart gives the distribution of the total saving of these three members in the different investment scene. Total saving of these three members, right? So very important guys that you properly understand what exactly is the meaning of this fourth chart. Percentage of the total saving. That means whatever is the total amount saved by Tom saved by Dick. So Tom is saving 35% of his total income. Dick is saving 25% of his total income. Harry is saving 20% of his total income. So these combined savings are distributed in these three parts. So whatever is their total saving, 30% of their total saving of Tom, Dick and Harry. 30% is going into, 30% is going into cash, Mutual fund 15%, gold 25%, FD 30%. For example, let's say if Tom, Dick and Harry, all three of them, if Tom, Dick and Harry, if all three of them, let's say, have saved 1 lakh rupees in total, then out of 1 lakh rupees, 30,000 will be going into FD, 25,000 will be going into gold, 15,000 will be going into mutual fund, and then 30,000 will be going into the cash that's the meaning of this set guys uh, information is not difficult to understand but it's very important that while answering the question you should be able to know how to connect all these four uh, uh, sets how to connect all these four pie charts how they are connected with each other let's quickly have a look at the first question question says if the medical expenses for Tom, Dick and Harry are the same then what percentage of the total income of Tom is the total amount invested in FD by all three. Some of you might get confused, uh, might get confused by reading the statement but the important part is to just properly understand the statement. The medical expenses of Tom, Dick and Harry are the same. You know the medical expense same the other way. The what percentage, then what percentage of the total income of Tom 
वट परसेंटेज ऑफ द टोटल इनकम ऑफ टॉम दैट मीन्स टॉम का जो टोटल इनकम आएगा टॉम का जो इनकम आएगा उसका कितना परसेंटेज इज द टोटल अमाउंट इन्वेस्टेड इन एफ डी तीनों ने मिलके एफ डी में जो इन्वेस्ट किया तीनों ने मिलके जो एफ डी में इन्वेस्ट किया वो कितना परसेंटेज बनेगा सो अमाउंट इन्वेस्टेड इन एफ डी बाई ऑल थ्री ऑफ दैम इज वट परसेंटेज ऑफ द टोटल इनकम ऑफ द टर्म टोटल इनकम ऑफ द टर्म वट परसेंटेज ऑफ द टोटल इनकम ऑफ टर्म दिस इज वट वी आर सपोज टू फाइंड आउट फर्स्ट थिंग दैट यू नीड टू क्लैरिफाई और यू जस्ट नीड टू मेक यूर सेल्फ अंडरस्टैंड इज वट एक्चुअली यू आर सपोज टू वट वट एक्चुअली यू आर गोइंग टू फाइंड आउट राइट सो दिस इज वट यू आर सपोज टू फाइंड आउट नाउ लेट्स यूज दिस इन्फॉर्मेशन गाइज सो लेट आई एम जस्ट क्लीनिंग इट राइट दिस इज वट द इन्फॉर्मेशन ऑफ द क्वेश्चन इज and let's quickly use it right tom dick and harry right these are the 3 person tom dick and harry and the medical expense of tom dick and harry is same so let's first find out what are the ratios of their total income by using the pie chart because in the pie chart i know that tom is spending 8% on medical dick is spending 12% on the medical and harry is spending 16% so 8% 12% and 16% of their respective income are equal so this will give me the ratio of tom income dick income and harry income so guys 8% of tom income is same as 12% of dick income 12% of d income and 16% you see 16% is a value here 16% of the harry income. 16% of the value. These values are equal, guys. Now, if you place them equal, you see 8 times of t is equal to 12 times of d is equal to 16 times of h. And now to find out the ratio, what I can do is I can make all these values equal to a common multiple of 8, 12, and 16. Let's assume that this value is equal to 48. Why 48? Why not 96? You can take it 96 also. Why not 100? You can also take it 100. but because by taking this number as a multiple of 8 12 and 16 will decrease our calculation so therefore it's better to take it as a multiple of 8 12 and 16 now you see that tom income will be 6 dick income will be why 8t is equal to 48 so t will be 6 so this is the income of tom dick income will be 4 and harry income harry income will be equal to 40 16 48 by 16 that is 3 That means if Tom is earning six rupees, if Tom is earning six rupees, Dick will be earning forty rupees, and Harry will be earning thirty rupees. And to again reduce my calculation, let's assume it to be a multiple of ten, sixty, forty, and thirty. Let's assume in the ratio of six, ratio of four, ratio of three, Tom income is sixty rupees, Dick income is forty rupees, and Harry income is thirty rupees. Right? Once you assume this value, now we can find out what is the What is the total amount invested by all three in FD? You see that sixty is the income of Tom, and what was the amount saved by the Tom? Thirty-five percent. So thirty-five percent of sixty will be how much, guys? You see that now we are finding Tom saving plus Dick saving plus Harry saving. Tom saving is thirty-five percent of sixty, guys. Find out thirty-five percent of sixty here. Thirty-five percent of it will be. Five into seven, two, three, twenty-one. So Tom is saving twenty-one rupees. What is Dick saving? Dick is total income is forty, and the money saved by Dick is twenty-five percent. So twenty-five percent forty will be ten. Plus Harry saving, Harry income is thirty. Harry saving you can see here is twenty percent. So twenty percent of thirty will be six. So the total saving by all three of them will be twenty-one plus ten, thirty-one plus six, thirty-seven. And out of this thirty-seven, what is the amount they are supposed to invest in FD? Because we are supposed to put the value in the numerator as the in saving by all three of them in FD. This is their total saving. Thirty-seven is their total saving, and the money that they are invested in FD will be coming from the fourth graph. You see that FD is represented by the this color, thirty percent. So thirty percent of thirty. 30% of 37 will be 11.1 right so 30% of 37 will be 11.1 now this is what we are supposed to find out that the amount invested by all three of them in fd is what percentage of the total income of tom 
So 11.1% is what percentage of 60 is what we are supposed to find out. So just find out 11.1 .1 is what percentage of 60, right? 0 and 0 will get cancelled, right? This will also get cancelled. 111 by 6 will give you the calculation as uh, 6 into 1, uh, remainder will be 5, 6 into 8, 48, 3, 6 into 5. So 18.5% is the exact answer of this question. 18.5% is the amount of Tom's income that they are investing in FG by all three of them, right? This is the way to solve the question. Now, this is a kind of set which involves the basic concept of ratio. It involves the basic concept of percentage also. And it also has multiple graphs where you should know how to connect all those four charts, right? Which information is supposed to be taken from which chart? This is also a point that you are supposed to take care when you are solving your multiple graph set. Thank you so much for watching this video. There are total four questions in the set. Ek question mein hum ek, ek video mein ek question discuss karenge because every question is different. So every question will give you a new learning, right? So this was based on the ratio and percentage. We'll quickly go to the next uh, uh, video also. The second question solution will be uploaded in the next video. Please like the video and share it with all of your friends who are preparing for CAT and other MBA entrance exam. This will help me a lot and I will be uploading more videos related to your LR and DI section on this channel. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe and click on the bell icon. Use my referral LRDA Samir to get 10% off on an Academy Plus purchase. Thanks to all of you guys.